get to the chopper. That was fucking terrible. And welcome back, everybody, for the next episode in Iron Curtain Grades, your shit. Today we're out here with Nev, who has stolen the schematics for a base called the Chopper. So walk me through the concept here. It looks uh, startlingly reminiscent of the shoebox from Season 1. It is. Uh, the only thing I could think of was they took that idea and made it shittier? <laughs> <laughs> um, Ouch. Wow. I mean, the it's when you look at it, it is a group of very nice features. It's got electric fence right in, right near all of these beautiful blade traps, and uh -huh. they're protected by stage two concrete and, you know, kind of a raptor pen type thing going on yeah, back yeah. here. However, there are seven blade traps, 24 individual electric fence poles, okay, and there's a single generator with six engines in it and all the relays are on top exposed that i am not a fan of you know we see this kind of thing quite a bit when we're looking at other videos and i've never really understood the mentality here because these things are made out of spun glass it takes virtually nothing to shatter these relays and with the way this is wired up if this relay goes you're going to lose a couple of traps they're just going to turn off and you're not really going to be able to rewire that in the course of a night i don't think so uh, the no. views here are not really conducive to doing that. And if you lose this one up here, You're everything fucked. cuts down. Yeah, I really don't like having everything running through one point like that. That's for damn sure. So right in right in view of all the birds. Yep, the birds are going to eat these things alive. I have a bad feeling about that. Now, the foundation no, is a little skimpy. I, If they path correctly on this, which I'm inclined to think that they will, I don't think this will be a huge problem. Personally, I probably would have just filled this in and gone all the way to the edge with it and just made a solid block, but eh, I can see if you're trying to conserve some resources. Um, are these just no. sitting on dirt, or are they actually buried? Uh, I believe they are just sitting on dirt. That's eh, not as great. At least the front is buried here a little bit. I don't like the fact that the stairs aren't rounded off. That means they're probably going to get some hits in on the wall out front here. Um, it's stuck over here. Yeah, and my other concern is just kind of the line of sight. Now, even if you were playing this solo, and we're going to be pretty packed in there with a group of us, uh, but even playing solo, what you've done with that, or what they've done with the wall there running down the middle, is make it so they can't really command a great view of the whole night. You'd have to constantly be shifting back and forth. I just don't think that that's a very necessary thing to add when you're just compromising your own view of the traffic for the night. It, I, I don't think that's accomplishing a whole lot, personally. No, I, I get the point of the wall where it kind of forces them into the blade traps, but you can just put put down a one block high or even just a row of spikes down the middle and just take care of that. Yeah, I think spikes would probably be the uh, better route to go there because you'd still slow down the traffic without compromising your own sight lines like this. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, this one generator... If, Something happens to that, it's you know, everything is going to turn off. But at least uh, to its defense, that's pretty well buried and way in the back. I think if we right. lose power to anything, it's going to be because these open ass relays got kicked out, and the birds are going to have a field day up here. Supplies needed. Uh, this is kind of light. I mean, it's a, it's a footprint of concrete, but not an enormous one. It is a decent uh, amount of electrical pieces, though. Yeah, I'm thinking like a C yeah. plus B minus. Personally, I don't think there's a whole lot into this. Yeah. This is pretty typical yeah. and a little on the small side in the grand scheme. Like I can see this being somewhere mid to late game ish. Yeah, I think kinda, this is kind of like what we said with the shoebox. It's it's early end game, uh, maybe a little prior. So I, yeah, I'm comfortable with a B minus on supplies. Build difficulty. How long did it take you to string this thing together? Hour and a half. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I think for its size, that's fairly typical. I've, I've had things that were smaller that actually took longer because they were more complicated. The one advantage here with the wiring, now the simplistic wiring is a weak spot, but it is simplistic, so it's not like you're going to get tangled up or confused there. You're just drawing lines at that point. Uh, what do you guys think? Another B-? minus? Yeah. So we got a, a pair of Bs, B- minuses anyways, for the intro grades, so let's... Uh, Let's see how this thing actually holds up uh, for the Horde Night. Everybody's here. We'll get this kicked off and uh, see how she does. Well, how well can you see back there? Pretty good. 
<laughs> Doesn't matter with Blundy. Right. He's not gonna I'm, I'm more worried about the back of our skulls at this point. <laughs> I don't like Blundy being behind me in general. I don't like Duel being behind me in general. Hopefully they actually come in the way they're supposed to. Well, we didn't have traffic problems with the shoebox. Hey, no, no exception error. Oh, God. So it is the power lines. Yep, just a line of them. And you hadn't been getting them previously, right? No, just till I updated. It's just non-stop. The universe now hates me. Yep. So, bye. Anytime you can combine fences with the blade traps, I mean, you're basically holding in the position to get ate up by a blender, so... Got a couple of exception errors there, but that was it. Alright, I'm coming back in. I am not tabbing out. Yeah, I'm getting Another a line one. of them now, too. Particle system is trying to spawn on mesh with zero surface area. That's mm. a new one. Yep. And I can't get anything done with that. Fun pimp, she broke it. For real, though. Oh, hey, dog. The dog disappeared. He probably had to relog because he got the exceptions, too. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs frantically trying to get back into Steam. So one thing I'm noticing with this, and it's really just the placement of the... Uh, electric fencing, the dogs and the crawlers just zip right past them. Yeah, the fencing is high. Yeah. If I were to do this, I'd put the fencing so it goes on through the, the blade traps. Yeah. Back here, Nev and I on the stairs have like a perfectly lined up headshots. Yeah, right, right, right when they come in the door. It's not like you can really headshot with one thing. I'm getting a really good set of headshots with the uh, Magnum standing right here, too. Yep. Oh, dog! Ah! Oh, oh, what the hell? He, he went around the, He came from over here. Did he sneak through? Yeah, another one just came out of there. Yeah, they can come in underneath. Oh, God. God, I can't move with the fucking... Yeah, they can get through the... Uh, I'm logging out. The underbelly there. If they can skate through a oh, trap, right. they're going to get chewed up doing it, but they can survive long enough to slide under it. That's a problem. And it looks like that's what they're going for. Yeah, the dogs are doing a lot of that. They've, they're learning. Jesus God, with the null exceptions. We might need to put I a got moratorium any. on uh, power for a bit until they figure this shit out. I can't even get a shot off. And now we switch to dual cam. Fucking hell, if I can even get out. Well, that guy just jumped straight through. Camera here, man. Get out of the way. Uh, the first two blade traps on the left are there. Are they? Mm -hmm. Like, dead as in not spinning, or dead as in, like, no power? Dead as in not spinning. Also, Davian, you're now electrified. Cool. No, shocking. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, those blade traps are gone now. I'm back. All right. Well, one of them broke on its own. The other one was kind of like... Yeah, there is a lot of missing traps. Those went away pretty quickly. Yeah. Did ammo oh. pop while I was out, or...? No. Nope. And none of the dogs had just... Oh, well, the traps are not working anymore. Maybe and scoot out of there. I'm going to seal that. Yeah, I went in there to try and repair one of the forward ones, and I was stupid and switched to my, uh, switched to the wrong tool. Now I'm getting hit live by the spit. Where the fuck is the spit coming from? Top? Behind? I hear them. Oh, oh, they're digging from below. <laughs> Look right where I am. Are they underneath digging up? Yes. Oh, that's not great. They're in the walls! So what killed the traps? Relay? No. Um, well, the traps are gone. All the relays There's... look to be intact up here, it's just that the traps themselves are fucking destroyed. Yeah, they're just getting... Like, if there's one on the left, I just... Try no, the, one of them hit the, uh, the switch, the on-off switch. Oh, yeah, that is gone. Oh, so the wiring failed, huh? And now they're in the side hallway. Oh, Lord. That you just sealed off. <laughs> Here they oh, come. perfect. I have a shot in their heads. You managed to run it? I hot wired it past the switch. Ah, uh, that'll work. Nice. 
Okay, so in case Duel's camera audio, because we didn't test that, is jacked up, I'm gonna walk you through. So what we've seen is the dogs coming through en masse. We had, Davian had to uh, kind of rejigger the wiring to get everything to turn back on, because they blew up the one switch that everything was routed through, so everything shut off. We lost the majority of the spinning blade traps down there, and the dogs have been crawling through Man. the oh, under, Dremel just popped. The undercarriage yeah, with no problem, outside. and we're coming right down these side hallways and eating our dicks off. So I've sealed mm -hmm. these side hallways up to try to prevent some of that traffic. Uh, well, there in, are... Uh, in sorry. general, I think the concept of this base has pretty much shit out. Like, it's, it's not really doing what it's supposed to anymore. It hasn't come down, and we're still relatively safe, but it's not great. There are uh, Zeds now making it into the hallway on the right, where the generator is located. So... They, they, they were uh, doing some work from below, apparently. Oh, 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 god, yes. Hey, this is... So what I was saying in the build section, talking about what I would have filled this bottom in, uh, this is partly why they got underneath and started hacking up, and they took mm. a pretty good chunk out of the floor there. Oh, yep, he's gonna pop. Uh, bye. And nothing else has been damaged up here. So, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> As you fall through the thing, that was I'm damaged. I'm smarty. Yeah. I really... <laughs> okay, so that bar is gone, and now I'm on fire. Thanks. The wiring and and the way this is put together, it just wasn't well defended enough that god damn it they just took out a bar i was standing on <laughs> the the concept itself with some work could do really well this is basically a different take on alcatraz and we saw how that just just use blade traps instead of dart traps so take go back take a look at that video for a way that a design like this would work. I well. mean, honestly, this is very, very, very similar to the shoebox video too, where yeah. it's it's almost a, a non-looping killing corridor where you're just looping into a, looping them into a dead end box to murder the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. This, I think, got a little too clever for its own good in some ways, and the wiring was not set up in a way that was really prepped to handle a Fortnite. And they yeah. took advantage of that real fast because, and as soon as they started taking those traps out and breaking wiring, everything went to shit. We're not going to be in the dirt. I don't think they're going to take this thing down. Fingers crossed. But we. Are no, no, they're doing a good job shooting on the bottom. They're not really coming inside anymore. We're standing on a car in the middle of an open field. There's just nothing about this base that is a factor anymore. So, no lie, we kind of saw some of this coming. And Nev has constructed the, or is constructing, I should say, the Iron Curtain version of this, which we will be more than happy to share with you in the next few weeks. So if you like this idea and would like to, fingers crossed, see it done correctly and not shit the bed, uh, hopefully we can help you out there. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, so much for not being this in the whole dark. thing. Fuck. So it's gonna be the whole thing. You know, and I had higher hopes for this. I really did. No. Yep. I thought we were going to have, a, you know, if not a, a straight pass, at least, you know, something in, like, sea ter territory where it was, you know, going to be marginal, just needs improvement kind of... Nope. Right, down she goes. That's that's really too bad. I, I, I wanted to see better out of this. Now can we survive till morning? At least it's not hitting us with no exceptions anymore. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to do with that. I like a kind of X is tastiest member thing going. I'm going to stand here on the last pillar. <laughs> There's one I shred of base it's... left and I'm on it. No. Yeah. Uh, that ain't gonna help. <laughs> Did you pop him on my pillar intentionally? Fuck. <laughs> 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 but it worked out that way. Akiva will remember this. Oh, fuck. oh I'm aware. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. One if you want. Douche! We should go back into dead side again. That would be fun. You, want, you guys want to see what happens when we drop the five of us in Eastern Europe and say survive? Uh, we end up murdering the shit out of a lot of men in tracksuits. <laughs> yes. Don't spoil it for them. I don't like this being chased thing. Fucking shit. God damn. It's only one, it's two. We got two hours of this crap left. Mm-hmm. We made it this far. We gotta keep going. Why are we in the dirt? I didn't want to be in the dirt. 
Because the base was bad. Your base is bad and you should feel bad. This had potential. I am actually genuinely disappointed. No. Sometimes you can see them from a mile out like, oh, that's shit and it's gonna fail. This one I had concerns, but I was hoping it would at least get through the end. Do we know what actually finally took it down? The fact that demos kept going off probably doesn't help, but the, they had burrowed the shit under the bottom and were just raping the floor, so... Mm. Alright, there's a random pile of bricks over here. I'm gonna use that as my, my standing point. Oh, I, I fixed that for you. Oh, God! God damn it, Duel! <laughs> Tried to not die! Listen, we brought you in so you could die and I don't have to. Yeah, that didn't yeah, work that out well for you. That assumes a certain level of skill on your part that, uh, you know, it's a two-way bargain there and we're still waiting on your check to cash. My skills come in with creating mad maniacal designs that are way too big. I thought that was Nev's thing. No, Nev's are mad maniacal designs that are sticky. Can't confirm. Mine's fresh and clean. Uh... Do all the goat parts really uh, count as clean? I They're just, not been added yet. Uh, oh, great. Why, I have laceration, I'm bleeding, a broken here? leg. People are, okay, so, uh, big news. Uh, I'm quitting. I'm actually going to start an ASMR channel, and we're going to go from there, and I'm just going to whisper in your ears for an hour, uh, but at <laughs> least then I won't have to listen to this shit. If you ever wanted to watch me rub a microphone filter for 45 minutes? Well, I got you covered. <laughs> God damn it! I had one about to fall pillar. Off again? I had one pillar and fucking demo McDickface punched it down. <laughs> Good. I'm very hungry. Yeah, I'm very hungry. I'm very thirsty. I'm very infected. I have a broken. It's just, it's just bad. Get that biscuit and run, fucker. <laughs> This, uh, you know, I will say that this didn't seem like the best time to eat a plate of spaghetti, but I seem to have pulled it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they managed to put it in conveniently to eat garlic bread form. Right? Emergency it's like spaghetti! like stuffed garlic bread. Oh, I just magnum to tree down. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Is that what that was? Just now, yeah. The sad thing is, even if we were still doing the thing where we ran to other bases, we're 20 miles away from anything out here, so it wouldn't have fucking helped. Nope. The frontier is close. Yeah. Nope, yeah, there's no bases anywhere yeah, nearby. Nothing, nothing even nope. remotely habitable. Seriously, it's like just over that ridge. Uh, oh, so shit. It's a Nev, wasteland Nev with no other people and no structures anywhere nearby. Pretty bad when this mound of bricks is more valuable than anything, any other building in this area. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they... Like, they destroyed this so thoroughly, there's barely even rubble left of this base. Not discernible rubble, anyways. <laughs> right. Good <laughs> there's, lord. There's actively holes. There is negative space where the base should be. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oof. Not great. This really failed hard. Uh, I'm disappointed by that. Durability. Obvious F. There's just, there's almost nothing left of this. Z control. Not only would I say it's an F because it shit the bed and we ended up here in the pavement... But I think the gap with the blade traps and the way that was constructed, the horizontal or, you know, the vertically strong electric fencing being as high as it was, was a problem. And then the gap for the blade traps allowed a lot of dog traffic through. And mm -hmm. as soon as the dog started coming through there, it just cascaded. Things got really bad really quick as the second that started happening. Player danger is an obvious F. Uh, the, the base marginally did what it was supposed to and kept people safe for a little bit, but that all came crashing down really fast. The mechanisms behind it aren't protected enough to survive a full Fortnite, and the way this was implemented, I would not advise duplicating that system at all. Resources used, we can't even tell. I don't think it would have been very hard on gas, and that's the only thing in play. Uh, so I'm going to give it an NA, just a, a not applicable, but I don't think it would have done too bad if we could have gotten a final total if it had stayed up. So, ammunition. Uh, uh, personally, I burned uh, 1,784 rounds for the night. Neverwind, what did you end up using? 3248. Duel? 1523. 1523. Surprisingly light. Although I guess how much of that was Blundy? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Davian? 1193. And X? 3188. Final total for the night is 10,936 rounds 
which gives us a grand uh, final grade of a C on ammunition. Uh, obviously, in this case, that is a C with an asterisk because, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing left. So it's a C inside of a failure. Cheese. Now, I don't think there's anything cheesy about this build as it was constructed. A, a little moldy cheese, potato. A little cheese might have helped. Yeah. <laughs> This is definitely a moldy potato. And chance to patch, uh, nothing. There's no chance to patch. There's nothing uh, weird about this. There's nothing, I think, that's taking advantage of anything. Again, There's nothing left. Like the cheese. If it took advantage of something, it might have done a lot better. So, you know, buyer right. buyer there. For the scorecard recap, now, supplies needed and build difficulty were both a B-. minus. But once again, I think we're seeing a get what you pay for. Because as soon as we roll into the second half... We have Fs across the board for durability, control, and danger. Resources comes in as, as an NA because we can't count them. Ammo was a C. Cheese was a moldy potato. And chance to patch was a zero. I think for the final grade, there is potential in this idea. There is something salvageable here, and this idea could be made to work. Uh, even, you know, going outside of just remaking like the shoebox or Alcatraz or any of those designs, I think where he was going has promise. This just, there were too many little nitpicky things, and unfortunately when you're looking at a Horde Knight, little nitpicky things can open up really quickly into catastrophic weaknesses. And that yep. is exactly what we saw here. The little nitpicky thing of the foundation not being solid, that was a huge problem. They started coming up through the floor. The little nitpicky thing of the way those blade traps were set up, the dogs just ran past them and started coming at us from behind. Uh, and all of that really added up into a giant crater. So final grade is an F, definitively, but stay tuned because I think this one is recoverable. I think this can be done correctly. F, but we're going to allow you to redo it. <laughs> Right. Has potential. Uh, we're going to enroll you in some after school classes and maybe get you caught up. Coming up, we have a really interesting concept uh, from a builder, a creator I don't think we've actually done before. He is doing some interesting shit in this video with the corner pillars and basically using those to quadruple their own strength. It's not a complicated idea, but it caught my attention. And I think he is actually really onto something here. And the blueprint that uh, I got out of him shows a lot of promise and I'm genuinely interested in seeing how this performs. But I actually have really high hopes for this Pillars idea because if that plays out and if that idea holds water, I think we're going to be able to make a lot of hay with it. I have a lot of ideas based on that concept if it is actually something that delivers at the end of the night. But we do have more fresh meat in the hopper. We've got some uh, crazy adventures of our clueless noob. I know Ashram is still steadfastly recording. He's got uh, a ton more footage ready for me here pretty quickly. And we are going to keep churning those out. So if you haven't checked out fresh meat, definitely uh, give that a look. I think you're in for a good time there. Go watch fresh meat. And uh, until then, we will catch you next time.